Of course. But you know, it feels like a hot midsummer day, mm -hmm. and here we are in September. Temperatures well above the average for this time of year. 87 currently at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. It's 85 in Annapolis, 89 in the district. Temperatures are in the mid 80s north of town. On the eastern shore, we're also in the 80s and 90s. It's 90 degrees currently in Easton. It's right around 86 degrees in Cambridge. But then you factor in that combination of elevated dew points, some moisture in the atmosphere, and then the heat that we have with the thermometer. So it actually feels even a little bit warmer, feels into the mid-90s for places like Westminster. We're talking about the heat index, that's right. Feels like 90 in Annapolis, feels like 93 in the district. It is a hot and humid late summer day out there, and we can think these winds coming in out of the south are helping to continue to pull in that warm and mild air for us. It does look like tomorrow's going to be a little bit warmer compared to what we dealt with out there today, and we'll talk about why. Now, today we haven't made it into the 90s, and that is because when we look at our future cast, and this is actually the upper level smoke in the atmosphere associated with those wildfires out west, and we just have too much of a high density across our region right now to allow a lot of sunlight to get through and uh, allow our temperatures to rise into the 90s. So as you get toward more of those gray colors, which looks like that's going to be the plan tomorrow, we should see the smoke thinning out a little bit, maybe perhaps a little bit less haze, uh, but overall we should be making it to 90 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Tonight, 71, partly cloudy. It's warm and it's muggy. Now, in addition to that, we are tracking a cold front located out to our west. It's actually bringing severe weather into portions of Michigan right now. That's going to be heading our way tomorrow, but most of the day we'll end up seeing a ton of sunshine. Some late day clouds by the afternoon, and then the risk for some storms developing, especially to our north and west, by about 7, 8 o'clock at night. And then we'll see that front kind of make its way off the coast. But we do have a severe threat for tomorrow. Tomorrow, especially for portions of western Maryland. That's where we have uh, the worst of the storms expected. But even from about I 95 and points north and west, we're under the marginal risk. So an isolated severe thunderstorm cannot be ruled out. So hot and humid, much of the day is going to end up being dry with sunshine, perhaps still a little bit of haze in the atmosphere. And then late day showers and storms developing after about 6, 7 o'clock. Now here's a look at your seven day forecast. Yes, a change is on the way. Just hang on. 84 by Thursday, so nice cool down behind the front. Chances for showers. It looks like we're setting up for a fairly nice weekend. 84 Saturday, 86 on Sunday. No temperature extremes. Okay. That's good. We're getting a little relief there.